is the wave. So here we go. This is the wave in itself. And it is a aluminum iPad holder. It looks hot. And now this will work not just for the iPad, but it'll work for any tablet that you have. So if you buy the... the um, if you get a discount play a book for 200 bucks next weekend, you can use this. Exactly. Well, this is the way that it works. So you just lift it up. It's, it's beautiful looking in the first. It's very Apple-esque. has little rubber feet, so it sits down really well. And then you can just place your iPad on it depending on what angle you so wish. And because the rubberized feet, your iPad stays exactly there. So you can type on it really well, and you can move it to whichever angle you so like. And usually when you have these type of holders, this is quite strong. It's not going to move around. It moves if you want, but it does take a certain amount of strength so that it'll stay. And this part as well is rubberized with little tiny, I'm going to put them a little closer, little tiny grooves, which will keep your tablet device exactly where you so want it. And the same thing that's on this section here. Now we're going to be doing a contest to give one of these babies away. Nice. But I have to say it is absolutely amazing. Really worthwhile. I absolutely love oh, them. Have you been using it? Are you using it a lot? What kind of situations do you find yourself it, using it? I've been using it all the time. I've been using it at home, um, on the table while I'm eating, because I like to have the one thing that I don't like about my iPad is one that most of the holders were big. And the second thing is that I like to be able to see. I don't want to have to hold it and deal with that. So that was the one thing that I did not like about it. And it also allows me, it frees up my hands. I'm able to eat. I'm able to surf. I can type onto it. And I like the fact that I can change the different types of angles of which I'm going to choose to use it very, very easily. Jessica in the chat room is saying it looks perfect to use with a Bluetooth keyboard, if that is how you rock your iPad data entry. You can, but you can also type on it, and it is easy to type with, which is something that's really, um, really nice. And we'll have a link to the, the site that we have from it. One second, let me just take a peek. I have it here, and it's from um, Choinks.com. So we'll take a peek to that. The only one, there's one thing that I do have a problem with, because you can use it in, le in either horizontal or vertical modes that you want. But if you're going to have it in horizontal, pressing the home button does make it tilt and move a little bit. That's yeah, I've had that with the docs, Apple Docs, too. Um, so it, it doesn't stay really steady for that. You kind of need two hands if you're going to be pressing the home button because it goes a little bit. Not a lot. Not so much that it's going to, to move, but it wiggles a little bit. Besides that, it's really stable. Use your gestures. Use Yeah, use your, your multitasking gestures. That's true. Good Boom. point. That's why we have Seth here to do the brain gym. All done. All you're done. Welcome. And it's beautiful. Like, really beautiful. I have to say, we try out a lot of different products. But this one is well worth it. And how much does it cost? It's 40 bucks. It's nothing. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. And well made. It's sturdy and beautiful. So we're going to be giving one away. Very nice. I approve of this message. 